Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer, one of the most colorful characters in a land that's already full of colorful characters was without a doubt Captain Tony, rum runner, gun runner, fishing boat captain, the former mayor of Key West, along with being all of those things. So Captain Tony was just a man who was full of love for life and full of love for his fellow man. Now, a new documentary has been released. It's entitled The Captain Tony Years. This takes a look inside the soul of a man that is made different. Jeffy Jeff, David Allen Crow, Joe Baez. I, I mean, so many of them. And they were hanging around my bar because I was the father of the hippies. It happened, you know. I, I want to explain who I am. And there'll be a lot of stories, my childhood, everything. But the most important thing was I was a hustler, or I thought I was. I'm joined this morning by the film's director and producer, Jeremy Hyatt. Jeremy, thank you so much for being on with me today. Thanks for having <laughs> me. Yeah. All right, Jeremy, you are already having much success with this film. It just premiered the other night at the Tropic Cinema, and you actually had to turn people away. We had to turn people away. There's 50 people that had to be turned away. Uh, we sold out the 150-seat theater. Uh, tickets were gone by 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday. And not only that, uh, the show sold out, but we had the reactions we wanted. People were laughing. People were crying all in the right spots. Uh, everything I set out to do, uh, the emotional roller coaster, it came to fruition. I, I got, got, was in there in the theater with the crowd reaction and I couldn't ask for more. Awesome, Jeremy. Job well done. Now what inspired you to create this documentary? Well, I've, I've always uh, been a fan of biopics, documentaries, and I often think, I'd say truth is stranger than fiction, mm -hmm. more often than not. And I could have written out a script. I could, uh, and I could have started off shooting a, uh, a uh, feature-length narrative, but <laughs> there is no script I could have possibly written that would have even come close to w what Tony's life provided. And I had a special access to Tony, uh, and he was on board with doing this, uh, uh, doing this movie. And he's for the underdog. He's, he's really for the underdog. And so this is kind of what this film is. This is the underdog. This is, we've got a grassroots movement. It all started here in Key West. So I brought the film back here to debut it. And uh, I got the reaction I wanted. And we're really going to be taken off from here. That's awesome, Jeremy. And everybody loves an underdog story too, right? <laughs> I believe so. Uh, uh, scrapping and clawing on my way to get through this film. Uh, Tony loved this. He passed away before we uh, got more interviews uh, along the way. I had my house broken into. Everything was stolen. The footage, you name it. Uh, my computer, gone. Everything I edited on, gone. So I had to rebuild. Wow. And rebuild everything. But there is a silver lining. And things happen for a reason. Mm -hmm. And with the rebuilding came, it came a better understanding of the story, what I wanted. With that came music by Don Meadowbrook, mm -hmm. absolutely fantastic singer-songwriter. This film is a storyteller's paradise with Don Meadowbrook's music and Tony. Those who haven't had the opportunity to meet Tony or sit down and have a beer with Tony, with him on the other side of the bar, this film offers you that opportunity. It's an intimate look into his life, his stories, how he felt, how he viewed life. Right or wrong, he was always Tony. And the film is actually rated Tony, so you might want to uh, you, you might want to be careful on bringing the little ones out there if uh, you're uh, you're afraid of a little uh, salty language. <laughs> Probably not for you, but it is rated Tony, I will say that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he used some choice words sometimes, didn't he? He, he learned in life, yeah. he could go through life with three or four letter words. Mm. According to him, you don't need any other ones. <laughs> That's good. Now, do you have a famous, or a, a favorite, I guess I should say, of his famous quotes, Jeremy? Well, my <laughs> I, 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 I'd say, yeah. 
his, his most famous uh, is probably uh, the one that's uh, on the posters and t-shirts. Uh, all you need in life is uh, great, uh, good sex drive and a great e ego. Brains don't mean nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my favorite would have to be from the film. And it's, you only get to make the trip once. You get no second chance. So be good to your fellow man. And to me, that, that sums up Tony. Mm -hmm. He had, the, had a heart of gold. Mm -hmm. And uh, no matter what, uh, if, if he, he would fight for you, he, sh he showed you nothing but respect and love. And, and if you'd look into his eyes, y you, you will see the soul of a man made different. Awesome, Jeremy. Well, I'm going to be back with you at the end of the show. We're going to talk some more about this amazing documentary, more behind the making of it, and also show some more clip, quick clips. So everybody, please stay with us. There is going to be much more going on today.